Imagine holding a 5,000-year-old artifact and knowing its exact age. That's the magic of radiocarbon dating. When living things die, they stop absorbing carbon. 14, a radioactive isotope. Scientists measure how much carbon-14 remains to calculate how long it's been since death. This process turns ancient mysteries into precise timelines, revolutionizing archaeology and our understanding of history. But how does carbon-14 get into living things? Cosmic rays from space strike Earth's atmosphere, creating carbon-14 atoms. Plants absorb it during photosynthesis, and animals eat the plants. This cycle keeps carbon-14 circulating in all living things, until death. After that, the clock starts ticking, and the carbon-14 slowly decays, providing a natural timestamp for scientists to decode. Radiocarbon dating isn't flawless. It works best for things up to about 50,000 years old. Beyond that, there's too little carbon, 14 left to measure accurately. Plus, contamination from newer materials can skew results. Still, when used carefully, this technique has dated everything from Egyptian mummies to Stonehenge, reshaping what we know about ancient civilizations. So next time you see a headline about a newly discovered ancient site, remember, radiocarbon dating is likely behind the scenes, quietly ticking away. It's the invisible clock that lets us read the past with astonishing accuracy, transforming forgotten relics into vivid chapters of human history. Without it, our timeline of the ancient world would be a lot more mysterious and a lot less precise.